reinstate the real version of Oklahoma and let the students see. 65 people signed up to speak at Sherman Independent School District's board meeting Monday night about the high school's recently delayed production of the musical Oklahoma. Every seat in the boardroom was full and the walls were lined with people standing, waiting to voice their opinions. By prioritizing inclusivity in our artistic decisions, we can foster an environment free from bias, ensuring that every student feels seen and valued. Protesters gathered outside the building with trans rights flags and posters. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Many parents and taxpayers in the district presented concerns about how they believe Sherman is focused on the wrong issues. How they treat people that they like and how they treat people that they don't like is way more important than the things that they can't control about themselves. Students from local universities such as Austin College came to show their support for the theater program. I ask that you evaluate what has happened, the harm that it has caused in this community, and work to make it amends instead of sweeping things under the rug. On Friday, Sherman ISD released a statement saying they will recast the musical, and anyone, regardless of gender or how they identify, can try out for any role. Because this is not okay. Public schools are supposed to be for everybody. Everybody. The new production will be rescheduled after January 15th. In Sherman, Abby Heyman, K10 News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.